On the ASCII configuration page, you will set each port's configuration. You have the ability to communicate bidirectionally on each port. For this example, we will be utilizing the ASCII to PLC direction for port 0 and PLC to ASCII direction for port 1. For port 0, you will select the data type that you are using, a string, an int, or a sint. Next, you enter in a tag name. This tag name must match exactly between the gateway and your PLC. Next, you see the defined ASCII message termination. One of these three end cases must be met for our gateway to consider a message complete and send it to the PLC. The first is a character count. This defines how big your message could be. The second is a timer. This is the maximum amount of time the gateway will wait between receiving ASCII characters. Once this timer expires, the gateway will send the message. Lastly is end delimiters. You can set this to be one or two. For this example, we'll use two. If your message has common end characters, you can use this to call your message complete. Common ones would be a carriage return and a line feed. Next you see our message queue and data conversions. Save your perimeters.